Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial of user defined network. My name is Ajay Khandelwal and I am working as a support engineer in Red Hat OpenShift networking team. Let's go ahead and understand what user defined network is. So user defined network is basically used to create one or multiple default networks that handle all the ordinary network traffic of the cluster. It has the ability to group different types of application in different isolated networks that cannot talk to each other. It has also the ability to create layer three or layer two type networks, which can act as a, either a primary and secondary networks for your pods. Through UDN, we can create multiple networks in our cluster with the same pod subnet range, which means it has the it is possible to have copies of setup. Through UDN, we will have full support for services, network policies, egress IPs, and OCP routes. In this slide, you can see that native namespace isolation. Each namespace can be one unique UDN. Network purple, blue, yellow, and green are disconnected networks, which means they are logically isolated islands, which guarantees native isolation of these namespaces. Which means pod present in the purple namespace cannot communicate to the pod present in blue, yellow, or green namespaces. So here we can we have the complete namespace isolation. How we can implement UDN? We need to implement UDN by creating the namespace and providing the label, which is Kubernetes.ovn.org/primary-user-defined-network. And please note that if this label is absent, then the namespace will never be considered for UDN or CUDN creation. The label has to be added at the namespace creation time. Updates are not allowed currently. For creating UDN, we need to create a CRD in which we need to provide the name of the UDN, the namespace for which we need to create the UDN, and the topology, whether it is layer two or layer three. Layer two is for the switches, and layer three is for the routers. And we need to we need to provide the role, which is primary or secondary. And we have to provide the subnet range from which the pods will be getting the IP address. Now I will show you a quick demo of how we can create UDN and how the network isolation works. So in this slide, you can see that I have created one namespace and already provided the label for the UDN. I have created the namespace named yellow and I have created the UDN configuration where I have already provided the name, namespace, topology, role, and the subnet range. Now, we, what we will do, we will deploy two application, one Nginx application and one HTTPD application, and we will try whether these two pods will be able to communicate with each other via UDN IP address. Now here is the twist. Then when we run OC get pods hyphen white, the IP address we are currently seeing is are the IP address assigned from the cluster network CIDR range, but they are not used for the primary pod pod network. The primary interface for the pods currently is OVN hyphen UDN one, and the IP address is 10.10.0.4. We will try curl this application from the other pod via uh, the pod IP and it is getting no route to host. But when we run, when we call the UDN assigned IP, we are getting the expected outputs. Now we will deploy some another namespace so we can check whether we have the complete network isolation or not. We have I have deployed the namespace named green and an application inside it named HTTPD. Now we will try to call the application from the pod running in the yellow namespace. And here we can see that we are getting no route to host like we are it. It don't know with how to reach the IP address. And when we try to resolve this IP address, we are getting the expected results. So that's the quick demo of how we can create UDN. I hope it has helped you understanding the UDN concept. Thank you for your time. 